Hey, folks. It's been a long couple of days. Welcome back. It was a beautiful day here today, folks. A little bit of a breeze, but the black flies just were just insane today, and they're not as bad as they're going to be either, let me tell you. So I put a couple of sprays of fly dope on, and I worked all day, and well, I'm not going to say all day, about ten and a half hours in the garden. I took some of the raised beds, you know, the wooden frames out. I'm saving those boards, I'm saving the screws, and I've got another project. I'm going to put them back together and put them here in my yard somewhere. I turned over two beds, started another, and am reusing one that I hadn't used for five years. So it's been very, very busy, it's been very buggy, it's been very warm, and I'm very tired. But I'm going to show you a, a short little clip that I, I did have my cell phone in my back pocket. I usually don't carry my cell phone with me a lot, but I just happened to have it in my back pocket when I was turning over one bed and... I'll play that again. It's a very short video, and I'll play that here in just a minute. So, a lot of people do not like moles in their garden. Moles do not eat vegetation. Otherwise, I would keep them in the raised beds. But what I have found here is the moles will dig all these tunnels and channels in my raised beds and what they will do is they will get under a row and they will lift they will lift that soil up separating the the soil from the young seedlings and the heat will get down in those young seedlings and or the wind and or the wind and it will kill my my seedlings so i'd rather not have them in my garden even though they do not eat the vegetation, they eat stuff like slugs and worms and all of that. So when I find them, I just put them in my compost pile. They can aerate that. That'll do that some good, right? So we have two different kind of moles here. We have the, the traditional mole and we have what they call the, what I call the star the star-nosed mole, and they're, they're pretty cool, folks. They're pretty cool. So, I've had a long, really long day yesterday, folks. It was an interesting day, to say the least. Anytime I am around people, people just never seem to amaze me. I get frustrated. I get flust flustered frustrated I shake my head a lot and I just I just don't get the general populace I just don't so it was an interesting day I'm finding that some people are just downright lazy they're just downright lazy so but anyway I made a productive day today I was up in the garden by six o'clock and I just stopped at about 4.30. And that's long enough in the sun. It is. So we're making progress in the garden. I didn't plant anything, folks. So I know some of you are very interested in how I grow my potatoes in sawdust. And when I plant my potatoes, I will... I will show you what I do, and as I heal them up with sawdust, I'll show you what I do, okay? So, the wind is coming right at my back, folks, and it feels kind of nice, actually, but... Uh, somebody... Somebody asked me if the baby ducks have hatched yet. They have not. 
I just checked on her, actually. I just checked on Daisy May, which is my breeder that's sitting on the eggs. And she's not she's not raised up or anything, so I don't know when she started sitting on them, folks. Remember, I just found that nest. So it's still maybe a week or two or three, right? But I'll let you know. I'll let you know, and I'll show you some baby ducks because she'll... She'll let me reach right under her and, and pick them up and then bring them back. She's an awful good mama. She's an awful good doc. So I've been digging in the dirt, folks. I'm pretty, pretty grubby. I did some brush cutting today. But then my, my weed whacker with the, the brush cutter attachment, uh, the brush cutter attachment works just fine but all of a sudden the weed whacker just died right out like it was bound up around the, the cutting blade but it wasn't so I think I just need to change the spark plug and I know YouTube can show me how to do that I'm positive so that reminded me that I, I'm gonna need to keep some spark plugs on hand for you know maybe the generator and the weed whacker and I think that's all I have that runs well my vehicle but all that ha I have that runs with that needs spark plugs so I can figure that out I can figure it out but anyway this is going to be short and if you've never seen a star nosed mole before M-O-L-E star nosed mole uh, they're awfully cute, folks. They're just awfully cute. They're about they're about four inches long, and they've got a about a four inch tail, four or five inch tail, and they got a this nose that comes out with like short octopus tentacles, and they're they're kind of blackish. If you've ever seen a close up of a a beaver or an otter, they kind of have that oily that oily fur, I guess, I guess is what I would call it, but they're awfully cute, they're awfully plump, and I just wanted to pick it up and cuddle it, but no, I'm not going to do that, I don't want to get bit, they have, they have teeth that come just like that, and I don't want to get bit just because it was scared, you know, and I wouldn't blame it, I have no reason to handle it, so handle them, because there was three of them, they all came up in one shovel full, as I was turning in that bed. So, if you want to see something really cute, you can watch this video that's coming up, like, right now. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for any new subscribers. And have a good day, folks. Hope you're busy. Good night. So, this is where I used to have an old compost pile. This has been here for about seven years, eight years, something like that. And last year I just put it up into a mound and, and grew squash up a great big trellis. So I was turning this over and I think I'm going to use this soil. I'm going to, instead of having uh, a foot and a half tall raised bed. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dirt and make two raised beds for greens or maybe squash. I don't know. <clears throat> I just swallowed a black fly, folks. They're awful. So anyway, one shovel I took and turned the soil over. Now I'm going to show you what popped up in the shovel. All right. So there's three of them in there, and can you hear it? Can you hear them? Let me dump it out. If I can do this one-handed, I'm going to just dump it right upside down right there. Can you see them? There's two of them.
They don't like the sun very much. I'm hoping they will make a home in the dirt. Yep, they're burrowing already. I don't know where the other one is. There was three of them in there. Oh, my. Hopefully the other one didn't get away. Oh, there it is. Right there, folks. Come on, little fella. So, I don't mind them being in my compost. I don't want them in my garden bed. They are cute, though. In a ugly sort of way. Alright, I'm going to put some light sod over them. I guess. Let them go on their merry way.